While most Americans think that farm subsidies are something that goes to small town farmers, like something like this, I think a lot of you are gonna be shocked to find out where our taxpayer dollars actually go. 75% of the farm subsidies actually go to only 1,000, 1,000 companies. And I'm gonna show you what companies those are. They don't go to mom and pop farms that we think and that they put out to make it sound like what they actually do. They actually go to, like always, big business. And so there's a lot of things that all of us, no matter if you're on the left or the, you're on the right, you need to understand what's really going on and how we're being fooled by all of this nonsense to think that you know, our taxpayer dollars are going to where they really are. We're going to talk about the real wel welfare queens, as people call them, of America. Let's While we so oftentimes see memes like this and outlandish videos portraying these people as the majority of those receiving food stamps and government assistance, which they are and they brag about it and but these are actually the minority not the majority but they want us to demonize these people concordia allied producers to a tune of 24 million dollars scott 22 million american peanut marketing 18 million and are actually quite accurate now let's take let's a look at where facts. First, I would like to know who in the world is overseeing all of these I don't even know what you consider it. This is it's downright fraud or just plain ignorance and all of these people need to be fired. Okay, let's say so the Department of Agriculture admitted to 3.7 billion billion dollars in improper payments processed since 2004. Just in the past two years, $650 million of over-subsidies were shelled out to farmers. But, of course, they were the big farmers, okay? In 2011, the IRS reported that $1.1 million... Oh, wait, no. $1.1 billion, with a B, <laughs> get... Oh, my gosh billion dollars was paid out to 172,000 deceased dead farmers over the past six years. What? That's absolutely insane. So of course these are not the traditional family-run farms. The top five recipients uh, that reaped these benefits between 18.6 million and 23.8 million dollars a piece since 2008 Additionally, uh, sub subsidizing and getting tax credits were uh, went to only 18 farm entities. 18. So the rich got richer, like always, and the 11 billion dollars in farm flowed to only about 6,600 lucky recipients who received over 1 million dollars or more each since 2008. Subsidies flow to urban areas get the get this urban areas that means in the city between 2015 and 2017 over 626 dollars went to people in the cities i'm talking chicago miami new york phoenix all of these places that are nowhere near a farm okay makes absolutely no sense i have no idea. have jobs and we need to hold them accountable so this is welfare for big companies that's exactly what this is we want to gripe and complain oh i completely understand i don't i don't like people living off of the government but these are corporations that are living off of it and they are the ones trying to trick us into oh y'all don't y'all want to vote for that you know they're just trying to trick us into thinking that it's something that it's not okay so, let me see here. I took notes so I wouldn't, because these are a lot of numbers. So even government entities 
are harvesting from family supposed family subsidies okay so the montana department of natural resources and Conserva um, conservation received 15.8 million dollars washington department of natural resources received 8.9 million dollars since 2008. Um, then some state universities which uh i would like to actually look into that before you know because i know like lsu here does farming and so i'm not totally against all that if that's what they're doing with the money there's a lot of vehicles driving by okay so last year taxpayers even forked over 1.8 billion dollars to pay farmers to not farm their land and um let me see i think it was three hundred thousand dollars went to a rockefeller are you kidding me are you kidding me to not farm their land and these contracts can last up to 15 years so let's see you can if you had the, the, the choice to either work all day in the in this heat farming your land making let's say five hundred thousand dollars or sit on your porch and do whatever you want and make four hundred thousand dollars which one would you choose i mean this is absolutely ridiculous and so we're being fooled to think that these small time farmers these mom and pop farmers are getting these subsidies when in all actuality the crops that get subsidies are corn soybeans cotton rice uh, mainly uh, only those and what happens with those almost all of those go into corn starch corn this you know fruit to high fructose corn syrup that into the energy into all of these things that are making the country obese and besides that those are the ones that are hiring immigrants they even put like ads in the papers over there and say hey come over here we need your help so they're getting illegal immigrants to come over here plus they're getting government subsidies this is government welfare and who does this hurt this hurts small farmers 100 percent you go and look and almost every i haven't found a farmer that a small time farmer or you know even a mid-sized farmer that wants these subsidies they don't want them and especially with these subsidies, you have all these regulations. Well, you have all these regulations anyway. And so people are confused about what socialism really means because subsidies, regulations, taxes, permits, all of these things, that is socialism, guys. That is socialism. And the regulations that are killing these small businesses are horrific. The stories that I've looked through are absolutely mind blowing. So when they're regulating all of this stuff and then uh, these big corporations spend a hundred million dollars to lobby so they can get you know a few billion dollars in the long run it, that's absolutely lobbying should be completely illegal the things that are going on is so much bigger than these small issues that we're looking at and you know the epa guy the fda all of these people are just like politicians yeah they might be a doctor or whatever but you go and look at their past history it's not good um and this is for administrations for years so we can't blame one that, that's the thing everybody wants to twist this into an administration problem yeah i was talking about 2008 i was also talking about 2004 i was talking about 2017. this is an across the board government absolute horrific foobar i mean just look that up if you don't know what it means um there's absolutely no reason for all of this wasteful spending to be going on and then they make us believe that these people in poverty shouldn't get a measly $300 a month for food stamps because their big corporation is subsidizing their own selves like Walmart all of their workers not all of them almost all of their workers are on some type of government assistance McDonald's all of these fast food corporations that are now all um, making a monopoly of themselves these are antitrust issues this should not be going on we need to get back to the basics they think we're stupid they think we're absolutely stupid they think that they need to regulate everything we do and oh you know the water initiative this and climate control you know climate this, bull crap look into geoengineering okay for all of you that that aren't that don't know anything about geoengineering those are that's what's going on like the cotton the texas cotton drought and all of that that's what's going on because people are like oh we have to work with mother nature well apparently you don't know that they are screwing with mother nature also there's not a climate issue there's not a nothing issue they're controlling everything 
that's a lot closer to actually communism than anything. Um, so that scary word socialism or that scary word food stamps and all of this, we're being fooled, y'all. We are being fooled by all of these fools that are raking it in. Let's look at some other numbers. I'm sure a lot of you are still a little confused, but let's look at this. So Walmart's food stamp scam. They pay their employees so little, they have these loopholes paying billions in taxes, and then they get cutbacks. So they're actually getting all these subsidies for paying their employees low wages. And this right here, Walmart gets 6.2 billion of our tax dollars. You see this line? It's actually essentially true. People on welfare get treated like crap. Corporate welfare are given handouts. I mean, look at these big companies. GE, 108 billion. Apple, 102 billion. Pfizer, 73 billion. And we think our money's going to the police officers, the EMTs, firefighters, education. I used to teach, and this right here is very true. Almost every single teacher had some form of a second job. These are teachers fighting back for their low wages. You might look at um, teacher salary and say, oh, they make $40,000 a year. No, they don't. That's an average. And how much do teachers spend on school supplies? I can tell you I spent in the thousands every year. Thousands. For years, federal subsidies have been plagued with problems such as deficiency, corruption, waste, um, even a billionaire owner of the Timberwolves got a subsidy. Um, there's also different ways that companies will hurt small businesses. So these, these headlines right here have been strategically put there and I, get, I hear it all the time look I encourage each and every one of you reading this should be offended and disgusted be angry be hurt over the organic farmers consumers being misled by organic beauty products the report shows all of these labelings and stuff these opinion you see that it, it's opinion piece but people don't look at that the organic food industry gets fat on their lies Oh, really? Really? Guess who did that? Monsanto, as usual. They're the ones that hired that company to write these things and do these documentaries of organics exposed, the organic industry booming and by deceiving customers. You have to look further. These big corporations are horrific. To sum that up, I mean, most small farmers do not receive benefits. Now this should shock everyone. These are the actual welfare queens. The top five oil producers receive 10 to 52 billion per year, including Dow, um, 1.4 billion dollars over the course of some years. And then we have Intel with 3.8 billion dollars. Then we have Alcoa. This company then we have Alcoa Aluminum. This company receives about $5.6 billion, which far exceeds their annual net profits. Um, funny that I'm sure they didn't mention that at their last year's shareholders meeting. On the basis of its pre-tax income for the last four years, these subsidies amount to all of its pre-tax profits Alcoa can expect for the next 189 years from day. So this means they essentially completely run just on government subsidies. What, they're not the military? What? How is this legal? Then there's Boeing. We can't forget about Boeing. This company t notorious for holding its job hostages just to have states fight over who's going to get the contracts is raking in almost $18 billion a year. And let's not forget they are on the top of the list of the military industrial complex. I don't think that they need more subsidies. This is crazy. In every state, low income taxpayers pay more as a share of income than the wealthiest of the 1% of taxpayers. 10 billion in every year for Chevron, Valero, Conoco, Exxon, Mobil. So why are politicians cool with this? But yet people on social security are fighting every day and mothers, people that are actually working. 
for a paycheck and yet we demonize them. I've been guilty of it too. Now I'm gonna show you something that's gonna completely shock you. If you make 50,000 per year, you're paying $24 for defense, $3 for natural disaster relief, 22 for unemployment insurance, 36 for food stamps, and a whopping 4,000 in these corporate subsidies. We have been I know some of y'all are thinking, oh my gosh, she's crazy. Y'all, no. We all agree the elitists need to man up. This is insane. We don't get breaks, they don't get breaks. All right, so I hope y'all enjoyed that. I went a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it is important information. And I hope you share this with everyone and like, share, subscribe. Sorry. Um, and we need to get things done. You know, we need to start at a local level. That I keep saying that, but that's what, what we're gonna have to do. Everybody's just like, oh, I hope Trump passes this. I hope, that's not, no, that's not how things work. Y you have to work from a local level to get things done, y'all. Uh, I hope everybody uh, has a wonderful day. And like always, you know, all my links are in the description. If you wanna shop Grunt Style, and help out my channel to stay alive because we know what's going on with censorship the bad word but anyway y'all have a great day bye guys